Okay, hi there. Um, we're going to have a quick look in depth, just closely now, at this uh, Juice Link box. This is the uh, Juice Link um, uh, box preamp, one I've been talking about. It's the DS214 low noise preamp and AGC disabler. You can see it there. It takes a um, 9 volt battery here in the compartment in there. And um, it has a mounting socket a little bit inconveniently on this side of the box here. So that if you're going to mount it on a um, stand, it's not ideal, I guess. It couldn't fit really underneath the camera. Some of the other models, or most of the other models, and the, and the other type, the Beach Tech and, and other Juice Link ones, you can mount them here and here. So this can actually mount between the tripod and the um, camera. This is going to have to be mounted on us separately, unfortunately. But I mean, you, you can mount them and you can attach them to um, the camera in other ways and to the tripod. So um, this is the box's on off switch here. Um, when you set it, you're told in the instructions to set it for a uh, gain high. So all the, all the settings are there for gain to be high. And um, you've basically got various sockets. You've got a uh, a line in socket now that's going to be for your mic so this is from the, to the mic will plug in there it's a mini jack socket and you can see there I've got this actually connected to a road mic and as I speak you can see there you have the left and right channels there um, giving indication as to the gain or the, the level the sound level there and um, that's kind of useful to have and um, there is also on this a button right here. As I said, if you've got the issue where you have a um, camera whereby you can't reduce the sound volume, we mentioned, the, say, the Canon 550D and other, other cat Canons, um, there's an actual AGC disable. If you switch that on, that will send a, uh, a loud hiss to the right channel of the camera to disable the AGC. Um, what else we got here? So we've got um, mentioned the gain. You've got the line in. The line out then connects from this socket here, and that will go again. It's a, a mini jack socket to the uh, camera. Now, if you actually if you'd like to record two um, channels of sound, maybe from two different microphones, you can actually do that as well here. Uh, but you need to use a splitter, and it's quite easy to do. We'll have a look at one of those now. So using a splitter into the socket there, all it is is a mini jack uh, socket basically and it has two separate cables for left and right and you're going to use the left channel for one microphone and the right channel for the other microphone. So I can the actual I think the road is anyway I think it's a mono microphone anyway. Um, so I've plugged the road now into one channel there, and the idea is you can you can you can adjust each channel here with these uh, buttons here. They've got tip left because on the tip of these uh, these mini jacks have basically their connections a tip and a ring. So left is, uh, anyway, it doesn't much matter, but the left is tip. You can alter the uh, sound volume coming out of each channel by, by those two buttons there. You've also got a, a headphone socket there, which is quite useful. So you can monitor the sound that's being produced, putting your headphones in there, and you've got a, uh, a volume control there for the headphones as well. So that's the split. splitters are quite cheap. That's probably, I think that's around about five or six pounds something like that they're, they're very cheap anyway and um, so you can have two different channels recorded on it as well so again that's the um, juice link ds214 box which is very useful for the purposes of sorting out the sound on your camera